thought I'd get an update on the trailer. Mike's had the day off today. Really? You had to do that during my video? I ain't stopping for no one. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much we got everything on the bottom framed in. Now we're gonna work up. Uh, just tearing out just a lot of wood damage and leaks and stuff. It's Yeah. It's pretty bad. And I don't get these corner boards like right here. This was what was in the rounded corners, but it's not even one solid piece of wood. It looks like a bunch of paneling boards sandwiched together. Mm -hmm. And you said you found like pieces with wallpaper on them in the middle? Yeah, there's wallpaper in the middle of it. So that had to have been a redo, right? Like the manufacturer wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't think they would have done that. So that's probably why this trailer company is out of business. <laughs> Maybe. We found out that Coach went out of business in 1986. Um, stopped making trailers then. So anyways. To what I'm doing behind the scenes. Sure. I've been cutting all the old scrap wood and burning it. Really? Yeah. All the molded stuff? All the molded stuff. Ooh. And all the old wood. It's mm -hmm. nice and warm back here. Yeah. Nice fire, Hunter. Yeah. See, how long have you been cutting wood and burning it? Two to three hours. I bet. <laughs> Enjoy, you got a lot more wood ahead of you. Oh, I know. Oh, hey, you got this wall done? Got that wall done. Started working on a lot of this, got all the old, old rotten wood off. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna attempt to step and not die. <laughs> no guarantees. Okay. So everything around the window. Everything around the window, front. We'll brace this up the front uh -huh. a little better. Yeah. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. Cool. That's all we can do for right now. Yep. And the sides? Um, just kind of hit the wheel well. So tomorrow, our main focus will be just wrap the front up. Uh-huh. And then probably the ceiling. Demo out all the ceiling. Okay. And this side's done? Almost. For, for the most part, yeah. <laughs> Almost. And then we still got all four corners need that rounded piece of wood. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. It's coming. Hi. For the record, I'm not sponsored by these guys. Roof patch, leak seal, not sponsored by them, but I love their product, they're awesome. Okay, so real quick, what we did is I went through on the inside, this is all on the inside, nothing on the outside, just inside. So we went through all the corners up on the roof and we put a bead in the corner of the roof patch. So what it does is just gets in there in the cracks a little more and then I put this coat of leak seal over the top of it. And what happens is, We'll get into your crack, the cracks. You can see how it just pops right through the any little hole there is. So this stuff's awesome. Love it. You gotta get out of here when it's too high, but start at that corner, spread it all oh, wow. the way across. Stinky stuff. Whew, smelly. I think it's it's gonna work. It's going to work. So now we'll put the roof on, put the two by fours across, and then whatever seams we have, we'll just start doing it again. So pretty good stuff. I like it. So. It looks really good. Yeah. Like so, I can. If you we'll let everything see it. dry. But that is definitely. It's sealed. All sealed. Yeah. So, I mean, all I mean, we're doing we still is... still have to seal the outside, but right. from just, the inside, that looks so much better. It's just extra precaution. That's all we're doing. Yeah. So, I mean, if it leaks after that, we'll just light the thing on fire. <laughs> I'm done, so. No, I think we're good. I'm almost tempted to do the whole trailer in this. I see a wheel well box. That wasn't there before. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Ooh, I see rounded pieces. <gasps> I don't know, it like shifted when I stood on it. Oh, uh, must not have been latched all the way. Okay, so I see the round pieces of wood in the corners. Yep, so they're rounded in. Fine, I got everything screwed in. Um, I probably need to put a couple in right here. Just uh -oh. to sturdy it up a little more. Yeah. I was looking at that. What was that <laughs> That's the tarp blowing in the wind. That's the mm -hmm. open hole. That's oh. good. Um, and then, so yeah, we did the box for the wheel well. <laughs> so yeah, we got that. Had to pop out the two by four that we had in here. Oh, right, and move it back. Yeah, for something the door. we discussed. So we moved it out just so we had enough room and stuff. You know, there's, there was actually a lot of progress, but just behind the scenes. Is that cool? Yeah. What do we have left on framing to do? This will well. Okay, that will well. Um, and then just these boards. The in-between little pieces. Yeah, that's it. Hopefully tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to say Wednesday. Let's say Wednesday. Just okay. Because I'm my timing's off right now. So yeah. That's where we're at. Well, so framing is going into a second week, but we decided not to do any electrical. Yeah, so that so saves us some time. That'll save us a week. Yeah, I don't know. We thought about it, thought about it, and. We're just gonna not do it. It's a glamper, not a yeah, camper. It's a glamper. <laughs> so, I don't know. Eventually, maybe. We don't, I don't know. I don't care. Well, we can do something later. If um, we yeah, like I mean, it. we can always do that later if we decide, but yeah, we're not gonna be living in it, so. No. I can live with a lot without electricity for a couple days. Yep. So, that'll be fine. I'm fine with that. Yeah. So there's the front, and the ceiling, and there's the back, up to the ceiling. Oh, and our mess is getting cleaned up pretty good too. Yeah, shovel. Oh my gosh, this garbage can, it smells like the old trailer. I know. It smells like oh. pure 1977. No, it smells like mold and mouse poo. Oh. <laughs> the end. I was thinking swass, but that's fine. So what are we doing? We are popping off the tire due to... I can't... Underneath the wheel well, I can't get to the right. So from the inside, the wheel is coming off in order to put the top on this box? Yeah, so we're going to put it up underneath here so we put insulation on top oh. and then put another board on top of that. Board on top of that. Gotcha. Or otherwise I wouldn't care and I would have just done it the other way. But Right, and just laid it on top. But exactly. Okay, lovely. Oh, I should probably like not be in here while you're jacking it up. You're yeah, fine. <laughs> Fine. Well, what could go wrong? A lot. These are an old school rim. So. Because they're white. Rims don't normally come white, do they? What's that? Like rims that are white? That's not. No, they come in all sorts of. Lots of different shapes. And Usually stuff. most tires are five to six lug. This one's a complete different setup due to. Can't go my flat yeah. screwdriver. Oh, here it is. I'll show you why. So, most of the time your lugs sit on top. Well, sit on the actual um, nut itself. Uh huh. But, I don't know what that means. Yeah, it's a whole different thing. Where this actually sits on the axle. So, your rim actually sits on the axle. Uh huh. Where on your car vehicle you'll have stud bolts that, you know, stick out here tire bolts into here and then your nuts goes onto there. Okay. This is a whole different whole different setup. Gotcha. They still use them here and there. Um, like if we ever have to replace this 
Is it going to be really hard to find? No. There's a company out there called Dexter uh -huh. that has, has these tires. Okay. Well, look at that. That looks actually So it's a whole different axle. You know, so it's a drum, obviously. Uh huh. Still so. looks good. Nothing looks cracked or broken. So it's good. We'll pop. See how the bearings look. Right now, since we're here. Are Are we sure we want to take things apart that we don't have to? Okay, we won't. <laughs> You're making me nervous. She says that so much in this video. <laughs> You make me nervous. T-shirts will be on sale soon. Asking, why are you building a willow out of wood? Yeah. I can. I don't care what you think. So four weeks has gone by since we've done with framing now, but- Since we started framing. Started, we've been bouncing back and forth between electrical, sealing it up, just bouncing back and forth. That's all it was. So here's the final tour. So we're still in the process of getting everything pretty much wrapped up. So the wood framing is wrapped up. As you can see, electrical's kind of bouncing around everywhere right now, which is fine. It's all good. So. What's next? Well, we're going to spray it down with water, make sure we don't have any more leaks. Oh yeah, sealing and, it. Yeah, sealing it, and then we'll That'll go be through next week's video. and kind of foam it all up. Put insulation in and yeah we should be should be there cool thanks for mm -hmm. watching like subscribe all that fun stuff me yeah you no me you oh i can if you want me to i think people are done hearing i think people are done seeing me you really think people want to see me Oh, do they want to see this face? It's only a face a mother could love. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I mean, all you have to say is like or subscribe to us. That's all you have to say. It's not that hard. Like this, like or subscribe to us. Fine. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up. And thanks to the five people that have subscribed already to our channel. We really appreciate you guys. And if you want to see more awesomeness, come to our site. Come to our channel. YouTube channel. And hit the subscribe button. I get tongue tied. But we have five likes. Five. Not like subscribers. I don't care. <laughs> the end.